It's very common for other parents, other caregivers, for example, people at school, perhaps grandparents, perhaps coaches, to suggest that a parent of a behaviorally challenging kid use Plan A in response to expectations that a child is having difficulty meeting. And so parents of behaviorally challenging kids who are using the CPS model often have to explain to other caregivers why they're not using Plan A anymore. Plan A is a very easy thing for people to suggest for a child they don't know very well. And the don't know very well part relates to lagging skills and unsolved problems. Plan A might make good sense if you don't know that a kid has lagging skills and unsolved problems. Once caregivers become aware that behaviorally challenging kids are lacking some very important cognitive skills and that they are having difficulty meeting many, many expectations, and get this, that Plan A has been applied frequently to that kid with nothing good to show for it, all of a sudden Plan B starts to make a great deal of sense. Now a big part of this is helping caregivers who are still real fond of Plan A do what we all have to do when we're working with behaviorally challenging kids and trying to help them. We gotta move them off of focusing primarily on behavior and modifying it and move them toward focusing on the expectations a kid is having difficulty meeting, unsolved problems that are causing those behaviors and solving them. All of a sudden, Plan A did not make a great deal of sense anymore. One more thing. Um, a lot of people think that Plan A is the best way to be an authority figure. Some people call it tough love. Some people call it being in charge. You're not in charge, and your tough love is counterproductive if you're using Plan A and causing countless challenging episodes. You are being just as much of an authority figure when you're using Plan B, perhaps even more of an authority figure, because you're finally getting a lot of those unsolved problems that have been causing challenging episodes solved. Challenging behavior is being reduced. Boy, you got all kinds of ways to explain Plan B to people who are still fond of Plan A. Don't forget, those folks who are still fond of Plan A, they may not know what you know about behaviorally challenging kids. They probably haven't walked in your shoes. We gotta be patient with those folks who are real keen on Plan A. They may not know what you know.